-hmm. More than 80% of homeowners in the U.S. have mortgage rates below 6%. And guess what? Interest rates are finally falling again. What does that mean for you if you've been sitting on the sidelines holding on to that sweet COVID era rate? It could mean that now is your time to finally make your move. You've got to stick around because I am breaking down the national trends, the local market activity right here in Staten Island and what this all means for you, whether you are buying or selling. Okay, let's dive into the numbers. Right now, the interest rates have dropped to about six and a half percent, the lowest that we had over a year. With inflation slowing down, experts are predicting that we might see two more rate cuts by the end of the year. So if you've been holding back because you didn't want to trade your low COVID era rate for a higher one, this could be the moment you've been waiting for. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Woo, I'm about to make a name for myself here. But let's see. Lower rates are also great news for buyers, of course, or are they? This all depends on where do you live. After months and months of rates over 7%, affordability is improving and we're starting to see buyers come back into the market. In fact, according to the National Association of Realtors, the existing home sales just increased for the first time in five months. Sales rose 1.3% in July, and it's exceeding all expectations. This could be a turning point for the market. So let's go down with the local data. Let's bring this closer to home with some Staten Island specific trends because that's what really matters to you, right? Here's what's going on. So this data is from the month of August and it shows that new listings in Staten Island have decreased by 18.1%. That means that there are fewer homes hitting the market, but Pending sales are up by 1.8%, showing that buyers are still out there. They've always been out there here on Staten Island. So they are ready to make deals when they find the right home, of course, and when they can win the bid. But here's the kicker. The housing inventory levels fell by 20.4%. And wait till you hear about the median sale price on Staten Island. It is increased to 690,000 and the days on the market drop by 19% to 66 days. So homes are still selling quickly, flying off the shelves. So what does this all tell me? Is that the demand remains strong and the homes that are priced right are moving fast. Now, even with the rate drops, Staten Island has only 3.8 months of inventory. That's down by 22% from the last year. We are still in a hot seller's market, but if you're thinking of listing your home, you probably want to think about that now's the time to prepare. You don't want to wait until everyone else jumps in when rates drop even further and the competition heats up. Well, we gotta be skeptical a little bit about it because if the supply matches the demand, then we're gonna start really shifting a little bit, but I don't really know if that's gonna happen. But nationally, Total housing inventory has edged up by 0.8%. It's very insignificant with only four months supply of inventory. But here in Staten Island, we're still feeling the crunch with only 3.8 months of supply. And even though nationwide inventory is up almost 20% from last year, the demand for housing continues to grow and outpace the available supply. This is why prices are still climbing. Now across the country, the median sale price of homes rose by 4.2% to 422,000. So even with lower rates, prices are not taking a dive. Of course, prices are not taking a dive. But it doesn't even make sense. So what does this all mean for you? Here's my take and my two cents. With rates dropping, we are likely to see more buyers jumping into the market. 
but sellers you still hold the cards in terms of the pricing power especially in staten island where inventory remains tight and the demand remains strong here's what i've been seeing on the ground just in the last few weeks homes in staten island are moving quickly when they are of course priced right and the frenzy of multiple offers and bidding wars it's still going on buyers are more cautious though they're excited about the lower rates but they're still willing to overpay like they did a couple of years ago the inventory is low but it's rising and that's going to provide more opportunities for buyers but i think it's also going to provide more competition and i mean this is a like a merry-go-round just last week we listed two properties that had solid interest and we did get the flood of offers we used to see this tells me that buyers are still eager they're ready to buy and pay over the asking price and with the new national association of realtors rule about buyers potentially paying for their own agent affordability might be a little bit more of a concern to some people i think that smart sellers will offer a buyer's broker compensation if they can net more money in their pocket in the end of the day some say that buyers that pay their buyer's agent is another reason why we won't see homes selling far above asking like they did during the height of the pandemic i'm skeptical about that i think that in my experience i see sellers are offering compensation because they generate a lot more interest and in the end they're going to net more money so where do we go from here hmm. with interest rates falling we're likely to see more homes hit the market both on a national level and here on staten island but don't expect it to be a free for all like it was during the pandemic prices with very low interest rates prices will remain high and buyers are going to be smart about their offers and sellers make sure you price your home right to take advantage of the motivated buyers and buyers don't rush take your time if you can of course have your finances in order that's very important and make sure that you're not stretching yourself too thin all right if you want to stay updated on what's happening in both national and local housing markets i got a whole bunch of videos about that you can compare the data month to month but you'll see that staten island was always going strong and if you like to be on the pulse with what's happening in real estate my channel is about real estate tips i help people in foreclosure and people not in foreclosure buy and sell homes so make sure to like subscribe and come back and i will see you on the next video thank you very much for watching